I'm just cleaning my jungle jar here and uh, I've just pulled out my Slimline AT15 internal filter and uh, this is use using pumice filtration because let's face it I don't want to you know have wasteful filter materials I got to change and a lot of maintenance so that's all great but occasionally the pumice stones will get up into the impeller which is in here so what I've done to prevent that and I just want to show you this cool technique I just cut an old piece of fishnet to fit the top of, of the uh, filter medium chamber here you can see the intake down here, the, the intake uh, vent. All right, and I've sized it to the top so that it prevents any of the pumice stones from getting aspirated into the impeller. And there's the pumice stones. And by the way, um, I just cleaned this. This is like all mucky, okay? So you're gonna have to kind of rinse out the stones and rinse out the net once in a while when you get slow flow. But uh, that, that pretty much prevents uh, clogs from happening. And by the way, you can use the same technique uh, for canister filters as well, because when a canister filter gets a pumice stone in, in, its, in its impeller, which is typically a lot more powerful, or it's connected to a more, more powerful motor, uh, you can have quite a disaster on your hands. So in order to avoid that, I recommend using this technique. Just just don't use, um, there's the impeller there, by the way, if you didn't know, um, spins around and pushes water out the outflow. Um, but don't use uh, too fine a mesh. You, you want to use something like this, this is about millimeter mesh uh, fishnet. Because if you use a really fine mesh, it'll clog too fast. And of course, if the mesh isn't fine enough, then the stones could pass through. So, so it's a balance. Um, but the bottom line is, uh, this will keep your, your pumice filtration going for longer with less maintenance. And, and again, instead of uh, trying to fish pumice stones out of the impeller housing, uh, all you're going to have to do is kind of rinse off the slime once in a while. And of course, don't forget to put this retainer cap back on if you're using a, an Aquion internal filter. And there we go. Just sandwich it up. That's my thought for the day. I hope it helped you. Bye.